Thanksgiving, Christmas, spring break, football games. All of a sudden they're out of school, getting jobs, getting married. You know, now I'm a grandparent, then I'm retired. And before you know what I'm dead, I was just, I just kept thinking, what's the point, you know? I mean, what is the point, Pop? The point? Yeah, I mean, come on, what am I getting into here? I mean, it's marriage. It's the most, it's the most beautiful thing on earth. You never got married. That's true. You never even tried. Come on. Okay. Well, it's kind of dull. It's hard to define try. You, come on, Dad. You seem happier than man. All the married people out there that we know. I'm not going to even lie to you. Marriage. Marriage is a pain in the ass. And you know what? You're kind of right. And all this stuff is just on the way to your early death. You know what? We, we are all running on a clock that can't be paused or slow down, but it's all going to the same place. Some guys live a more beyond their mortality. Not guys like me and you, but some. But those footprints, those footprints disappear. There is no point. I'm not the guy that you would normally want to talk to about this type of stuff. Okay, but think about it. Think about your favorite memories. The greatest moments of your life. Were you alone? No. Guess not. You know what? I don't even want to sound like a Hallmark card. But life, <laughs> life is better with company. Come to think about it, last night, the night before your wedding, when all this crazy shit was running through your head, weren't you two sleeping in separate rooms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I even went back to the apartment and I, uh, Spend the night in the hotel in the honeymoon suite. <laughs> All alone. Yeah. Kind of lonely? Yeah. You see, everybody needs a co pilot. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Thanks. All right. <clears throat> So, what kind of mess did I make out there? It's not good emotionally. But what do I do, Dad? Man, go get.